Hello, and welcome to the Holiday Spectacular. My name is Seth Glear, and I will be your host this evening. As you can see, the fireplace is plugged in, cookies are baking, and the inoculations have begun. We are six days away from Christmas, still three to ten months away from hugging a stranger. It's a pretty magical time of year. Even my depression has an air of possibility about it. COVID-19 has disrupted much about our lives, our livelihoods, and our holiday this year. In the before time, you may have been planning a family gathering with grandparents, grandkids, caroling around a piano, or watching your nieces eat all the chocolate from their advent calendar. For some, you may find yourself quite relieved and equipped with a solid CDC excuse of why you won't be seeing certain family members this year. When I was a kid, the holidays were always a time of tension in my home. The season can be hard on those suffering from addiction, and it is a stressful season to feel financially strapped as too many of us are. As a kid, I collected as much magic from the holidays as I could to contrast the tension I absorbed. We wouldn't see the candle in the window dancing if it wasn't for the darkness all around it. As I look out at an uncertain world full of tension, the child in me felt the urge to try to bottle up some of this magic and share it with you. I also can't help feeling that the world is in need of as much magic as we can give it right now. So, wherever you are tuning in from, I thank you for being here, letting me into your home this evening. I welcome you into my home, and I welcome you to the Holiday Spectacular. 
Guys, you guys ready? All right, let's, it's half now, yeah. On the 25th of the 12th, the 25th of the 12th, when Rudolph makes his yearly run. On the 25th of the 12th, old Santa will share his wealth. There'll be a gift for everyone. Every tree will be trimmed with toys, surrounded by girls and boys, with eager hands and laughing eyes. For the 25th of the 12th is a wonderland in itself, with every kind of sweet surprise. Beneath the mistletoe, the fairy lights will glow, and when it's time to say goodnight, and all the stars we trust will sprinkle twinkle dust over every flake of white. What a wonderful holiday with bells on every sleigh and voices full of happy cheer. Bringing all of good luck and health you'd ever wish yourself on the 25th of the 12th this year. <laughs> Beneath the mistletoe, the fairy lights will glow, and when it's time to say goodnight, and all the stars we trust will sprinkle twinkle dust over every flake of white. What a wonderful holiday With bells on every sleigh And voices full of happy cheer Bringing all of good luck and health You'd ever wish yourself On the 25th of the 12th The 25th of the 12th The 25th of the 12th this year Oh, so good to see you Oh, I'll show you ten months. Okay, let's do ten months. You've got okay. to ruined another great thing.
How about two, three, four? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. Yes, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Now, what would a holiday spectacular be without a choreographed dance routine? Telling you why 
Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming to town. Wow, that was that's so great, right? Yeah, you were amazing. Oh, welcome to the Christmas Spectacular, everybody. Yeah, we we live here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, welcome. So welcome. <laughs> That is the angels of darkness and light. What? Uh, you mean Gracie and Rachel? Yeah, Gracie and Rachel, oh. the angels of darkness and light. Oh. this year. Sorry my chimney's a bit tight. The front door is always an option and we have no security system. Anyway, here's a list of things I want for Christmas. One, justice for Billy Allen who's been sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit in spite of overwhelming evidence proving his innocence. Two, PlayStation. Five, love, Seth. I wonder who that could be. Let's go see. Oh, my Santa! It's Jesus Christ! It's me. You artists are always profiting off of my birthday. That's true. Welcome to my holiday spectacular. Come on in. Come on in. Don't mind. So... 2020. Woo! What a year. Dad is really out of control. Oh yeah, your your dad. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's just really going through some stuff this year. Mm. My therapist says it could be a byproduct of centuries of toxic masculinity. Oh, therapist. 
this. Um, do, do, do you want some uh, eggnog? Eggnog? What in dad's name is eggnog? What eggnog is? Just, just try it. that flavor. Ah, seasonal depression. No, no, no. I know seasonal depression. There's something else in here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm so glad you noticed. That's nutmeg. Nutmeg? Yeah, nutmeg. Nutmeg is what gives eggnog. It's mmm. And it's The Shortest Day by Susan Cooper 
And so the shortest day came, and the year died. And everywhere down the centuries of the snow-white world came people, singing, dancing, to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees, they hung their homes with evergreen, they burned beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the New Year's sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling, through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen. All the long echoes sing the same delight this shortest day. As promise wakens in the sleeping land, they carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends, and hope for peace. And so do we, here, now, this year, and every year. Welcome, Yule. Amber called her uncle, said, We're up here for the holiday. Jane and I were having solstice, now we need a place to stay. And her Christ-loving uncle watched his wife hang Mary on a tree. He watched his son hang candy canes all made with red dye number three. He told his niece, it's Christmas Eve, I know our life is not your style. She said, Christmas is like solstice and we miss you and it's been a while. So the Christians and the pagans sat together at the table, finding faith and common ground the best that they were able. And just before the meal was served, hands were held and prayers were said, sending hope for peace on earth to all their gods and goddesses. Loved and the meal had gone without a hitch Till Timmy turned to Amber and said Is it true you are a witch? His mom jumped up and said the pies are burning And she hit the kitchen and it was Jane who spoke She said it's true, your cousin's not a Christian But we love trees, we love the snow The friends we have, the world we share And you find magic from your God And we find magic everywhere So the Christians and the pagans sat together at the table Finding faith and common ground the best that they were able And where does magic come from? I think magic's in the learning Cause now when Christians sit with pagans only pumpkin pies are burning when Amber tried to do the dishes Her aunt said, really, no, don't bother Amber's uncle saw how Amber Looked like Tim and like her father He thought about his brother And how they hadn't spoken in a year Thought he'd call him up and say It's Christmas and your daughter's here He thought of father's sons and brothers Saw his own son tug his sleeve Saying, can I be a pagan? Dad said, we'll discuss it when they leave So the Christians and the pagans Sat together at the table Finding faith and common ground The best that they were able Lighting trees and dark Learning new ways from the old and making sense of history and drawing warmth out of the
Oive Maria! Oh my gosh! I didn't see you there. I hope you're having a good time. And if you're not, just have some more eggnog. Mm. This spectacular has been a real labor of love for me. Tips are not necessary, but they are greatly appreciated. I know times have been really tough on a lot of us. So if you are in a situation with the means to support me, the best way to do that is by joining my Patreon page. My Patreon page is where I do a weekly live stream much like this called Pandemic Parties. For just $5 a month, you can join that page and support me in a sustainable way, making more art for the world. So enough about all that. How about we get back to music, right? Yeah. Oh, this song. Makes me think of my grandmother, actually. Ah, it's a goodie. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh, no. Ah, the, this is the one. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the seasons bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on a sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase Kids from one to ninety-two Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Oh my god, it's singer-songwriter Diana Alvarez. Hi. Hi, Diana. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. How are you? What have you been up to? Uh, teaching voice lessons and raising money for the Bridge Song Fund. What's the Bridge Song Fund? It's an emergency relief program for artists of color at the Institute for the Musical Arts. Wow, that sounds amazing. Well, we're doing a, a holiday spectacular. Would you like to sing with us? Would you want to be a part of it? Well, it sounds really sweet, but can we make it radical? Radical and the holidays? What exactly do you have in mind? I want to wish you a revolution. Let's play that song. Let's do it. Las vidas negras importan 
borders are a myth. Return stolen land, tend to this planet for everyone. Let's build a new world, a non binary world. Let's build a new world, there's enough for everyone. I want to wish you a revolution. I want to wish you a revolution. I want to wish you a revolution. Con todo mi corazón. We counted all the votes. We removed a demagogue. But our mission isn't finished till we can all show up. Las vidas negras importan. Borders are a myth. Return stolen land, tend to this planet for everyone. I wanna wish you a revolution. I wanna wish you a revolution. I wanna wish you a revolution. Con todo mi corazón. A Green New Deal would be less pollution I want to wish you a revolution Con todo mi corazón Check in with your tribe Be bold with your love Wear your f***ing mask And know that you are enough Las vidas negras importan Borders are a myth Return stolen land, tend to this planet for everyone. Yo te deseo una revolución. Yo te deseo una revolución. Yo te deseo una revolución con todo mi corazón. I wanna wish you a revolution. A little income redistribution. Yo te deseo. Nothing to laugh about, never lose hope. Sophie tells a joke. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sophie, which you uh, probably know. Um, and I am, among other things, Seth's wife, uh, which you also probably know. Um, but something you might not know is that I have, um, I've actually spent some time living in Germany in my life and I'm in touch with some folks over there still and I heard recently that in response to COVID that, um, that Germans are stockpiling um, sausage and cheese and it's creating this real uh, worst case scenario over there, real worst case scenario. I do speak German also. I'm just trying to... Anyway, um, so that's happening. Um, something else that's happening in my life is I've been watching these um, masterclass videos to spend some time really thinking about your worst qualities as a person because that's what's going to be funny. And um, it's been a little bit tricky for me just because I don't have that many bad qualities to draw from, but I have been thinking about it and I do identify as a recovering perfectionist. Um, that's been an ongoing like battle for me, honestly, and I do feel like I've made progress. I can definitely recognize areas of my life where like I used to be a perfectionist, and not, I'm not anymore. Um, I just have really high standards in that in those areas. Um, and one of those areas is uh, dishes, 
washing dishes specifically and um you know I just have this thing where like if you're gonna wash something by hand I feel like it shouldn't be visibly dirty afterwards I know it's kind of weird but it's just this thing that I have like I feel like it should be clean if you're washing it by hand um this is something that has honestly come up in and set some my relationship one or two times um most notably was this one night when i was actually demonstrating to Seth how to wash a wine glass that he had not fully washed and he took it so well he was so nice um his response was basically like wow i'm so glad that you brought this up and i actually have something i want to talk to you about as well and of course i'm thinking in my head like oh my gosh what did i do wrong um, and then he just gets down on one knee and proposes marriage to me in that moment, which of course means that from that moment on, uh, anytime that we were telling somebody our proposal story, he got to tell a story about me lecturing him on how to wash wine glasses. Um, unfortunately, he still doesn't know how to wash wine glasses, <laughs> but um, you know, you take what you can get. Um, Anyway, I, uh, I do actually have a couple of holiday themed jokes to tell you this evening. Um, I was wondering if you know, I'm, I'm sure you know how many letters are in the standard English alphabet. It's 26. Um, and I was wondering if you know how many letters are in the standard Christmas alphabet. It's 25 because there's Noel, Noel, Noel. <laughs> okay, I also have a couple of snowman jokes. Um, what do you call an old snowman? A puddle. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? Do you smell carrots? Um, yeah. Thanks so much. You've been a great audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophie Chambers, everyone. Thank you so much. That's, you're welcome. I'm so glad the classes are um, paying off. Yeah, well, continue. Well, they are free. Um, yeah. Well, someone paid for them. <laughs> no, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> my my piano is here. Uh, that's that's my piano. It's uh, our piano is here. And um, I was wondering if you would want to play my piano and maybe play, play my piano, play a song, sure, together. Yeah, on my piano. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. Sure. Sometimes
Maria, Maria, ora pro nobis, nobis peccato. And now, a brief word from my friend, Kelly Halloran. This next song is my favorite non-holiday holiday song. What I mean by that is this song sort of encapsulates the, the, the spirit of the holidays, the empathy, the community, the taking care of one another. Um, and it's, uh, it's one that maybe doesn't get associated with uh, the holidays so much. So this is a song that will feature my dear friends Reed Sutherland, Ryan Hummel, and Heather Maloney. Here's one of us. Thank you. 
I'm going to leave you guys with this song. Thank you so much for joining me for this holiday spectacular. As I leave you, I want you to remember there is magic inside each and every one of us. Our job is to share that magic with other people. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light Next year all our troubles will be out of sight Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay Next year all our troubles will be miles away Dear to us, gather near to us once more. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow, until then. We'll have to model through somehow. So have yourself a merry little Christmas now.
press record that? You did not. Oh. Okay. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, as you know, well, oh my god, I missed it. <laughs> Are we? Are we doing this? Uh, Energy. You're like, you're like dancing. Okay. Let's come. My love me. Whoa, 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 Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> you waited so long. I'm sorry. I was, it's called dramatic pause. It's called dramatic. 